Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Google Chrome and or Microsoft Edge, just a quick heads up, because apparently 18 malicious add-ons have been distributed on the Microsoft Edge add-ons and also the Chrome Web Store. And this is all according to researchers at Koi Security, spelled K-O-I, who have published a report about this whole incident. And I'll leave the post linked in the description because there's quite a lot going on here in this post. So go check this out for more info. I'm just going to skim over the highlights for the purpose of this video. Now, as you may well know, normally when you get a malicious extension, it's something that's kind of thrown together quickly and doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. Now, according to the report, apparently the add-ons and the extensions that were distributed did exactly what they were supposed to do. So if it was a color picker extension, it worked as a color picker extension, unlike, as mentioned, most malicious extensions. But the problem is, although they worked fine, they were also Trojan horses, which is not a good thing, which apparently hijacked the browser and could spy on you while maintaining a backdoor for the hackers, which is not a good thing. Now, apparently, according to the report, these extensions stayed without any negative effect. They were harmless for years before they became malicious through a version update. So that's quite a sneaky tactic. Now, here's the list of extensions, and I'm going to leave this up on the screen so you can just go through these while I carry on. Chrome extensions and the Edge extensions, 18 in total. Now, apparently, Koi began investigating an extension called Color Picker, Eyedropper, Gecko Color Pick. And what they did is, in their investigation, they found that it was actually one of many malicious add-ons and extensions that were finally um, uncovered and discovered. And according to the report, it says it was a coordinated effort called the Redirect Campaign. And that's where these 18 extensions and add-ons come in because they were used across the Chrome and Edge stores to hijack browsers and managed, apparently, according to the report, to infect 2.3 million users across both browsers. And apparently some have even been promoted as featured extensions, which is not a good thing, on both the Chrome Web Store and the Microsoft Edge add-on store. Now this is how the actual malware works from these extensions. Apparently the extensions would activate whenever users navigate to a new page, while a hidden background service monitored all tab activity. And this URL is captured and then sent to a remote server with your unique tracking ID, and then the server sends potential redirect URLs from the command and control center. And then what would happen, the browser would then redirect to a malicious web page if the hackers wanted it, and the user then didn't have to click anything malicious. No phishing was involved in the process. So at the end of the day, if you find any of these extensions on the web store, don't install them. I think it now stands to reason. And apparently some of them are still available on both Chrome and Microsoft's stores. But apparently um, a whole lot of reviews taking place and some of them um, also have been removed currently at the time of posting this video on the 9th of July. Now, according to the report, um, Koi has criticized Google and Microsoft for not handling browser updates properly because the threat actors have basically outsmarted them by uploading clean versions, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and then waiting patiently to update them with malware. Quite a sneaky tactic. So just giving you a quick heads up, guys, um, just to be on the alert, and thought this was interesting, go check the um, report out. Quite a lot going on there if you want more info. So at the end of the day, just avoid those 18 extensions just to be on the safe side. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.